Today we're working on a 2011 Toyota Yaris. Um, has an engine light on. Customer complaint is low power. Um, runs good at wide open throttle and runs good when cold. Okay. Let's go have a look at the scan tool. Okay, we'll give it a minute to warm up and get into closed loop. I've already customized the uh, custom data PID, so it only shows the four PIDs that we want to look at. The code was uh, PO171, um, Lean Bank 1. So now we've got to determine whether we have really have a lean condition or if the O2 sensor is lying. Give it a minute to go into closed loop. You can see that our long-term fuel trim is at negative 11. That means the computer's memory is pulling out 11% fuel. Give it a few snap throttles. Starting to get some activity. See, we're still in open loop. Okay, we've just gone to close loop. You can see our short term fuel trim is at 19.5, adding fuel, and our long term is negative 11. So that is uh, that would leave a total trim of 9% roughly. Yeah, it's all right, I can edit it out. Yeah, what's going on? Uh, the focus. Mm -hmm. It's just starting to that tick again <laughs> with the exhaust. Yeah. So, um, would you like to, not now, I know you can't do it now, but maybe book and do it and I'll sort you out for it. Yeah, that's all right. See if you can just tighten it up again. Yeah. It's probably just work loose again, yeah, I would think, yeah. 
but um, it's because of the breaks in it, the cracks, that's why it's coming loose, you know. Yeah, of course, of the exhaust, the manifolds a bit. Yeah, because got of the breaks in it. Yeah. Crack in it. Because of that, it keeps fighting. Yeah, of course, when, when you talk it up, yeah. Because yeah. it shouldn't come loose if you know it's yeah. true, you know. Mm. Um, yeah, that's all right, right so uh, just, when any day you want, man, just whatever's ha customer's happy, get the car in. Okay. Um, and I'll work around that and make sure I get it done. Okay. No, Do it at lunchtime if I have to, whatever. No drama. All right. All right. Um, this week sometime? Yeah, any time, man. Whenever you uh, want. Late in the week. Work it out with them, whatever yeah. makes the customer okay. happy, and I'll work around that. No worries. Cool, man. Okay, I'm just creating a custom data pit. Speed up the process. Okay, I'm just going to create a custom data list to speed up the process. Short term and long term we want to look at. O2 sensor bank 1 sensor 1 and we want to look at our O2 sensor bank 1 sensor 2 so downstream Select all the other pits, okay. We've got our custom data list, okay. Now, as you can see, our O2 sensor bank one sensor one the upstream is a fixed lane, zero volts. Um, there could be a couple of things that could cause this. We could have a short to ground, which is pulling the voltage down to zero. Um, we could have an open circuit in the signal wire. Um, or we could have an open inside the sensor, a faulty sensor. Okay, I'm just going to do a couple of snap throttles, test to see if we can drive that upstream O sensor rich or get any activity out of it. Right, and then I'll loan her a car if I have to, or whatever, and we can yep, play cool. around. Sweet as. The sensor just started working then for a second. We've seen activity on it. Now it's gone dead again. Okay, we're going to go under the bonnet and we're going to do some testing on the signal circuit. Um, first test I'll probably do is we'll try unplugging the bank one sensor one upstream um, to see if this Toyota Yaris uses a bias voltage. Okay, so we're going under the hood now to try that.
try and get you a shot of where the sensor lives. That's the sensor, that's the wiring going up there, and that's the connector there we'll be unplugging. Okay. Keep you fixed on the scan tool while we unplug the sensor. As you can see now, now have the connector unplugged. We're still reading zero volts on the upstream sensor. So the next test I'm going to do is called a signal circuit integrity test. And um, what that's going to entail is we're going to locate the signal wire, look at sensor side wiring. You can see we have two whites, a grey and a black. So the two whites will be the heater circuit, the black will be the signal wire, and the white will be the sensor ground. We match that up to that connector there, so the signal wire. It's going to be the bottom left. Bottom left. Okay, there's the harness side connector for the upstream O2. As you can see, I've got the signal wire back probed, which on the harness side is a white wire. Now, all we're going to do is, it's going to take one end, one end of this banana style plug adapter, which is connected to our back probing tool into our harness side connector. I'm just going to touch this with one hand and touch and lick my finger and touch battery positive with the other hand using my body as, as a resistor I'm going to try and drive this signal circuit high so I'll just fixate you on the scan tool okay I'm touching battery positive now okay as you can see as using my body as a as a resistor, um, that signal there's nothing wrong with that signal circuit. It's reading 1.275 volts. Now that's the maximum that internal circuit will allow it to read. So that so that concludes our testing. The car needs an upstream O2 sensor. Um, take some further notes after we put the new sensor in.